Hey, what's up everyone? So I'm heading out right now to do some location scouting and I thought to myself, I've never actually done a video talking about what I look for and what I do when I go out and location scout for portrait sessions, for video shoots, things of that nature. So in this video, I'm actually taking you with me on a location scouting mission. And I'm gonna share with you three tips, three things that I look out for whenever I am location scouting. With that being said, let's go. Let's get right into tip number one, which is to investigate the light. Now, oftentimes photographers will actually go out when they're location scouting and all they're focused on is finding a really cool location with maybe interesting architecture or symmetry, things of that nature. But what photographers don't often do and it could wreck their photo shoot is to take a look and just do some investigating into what the light is gonna look like based on the time that you plan on shooting. So the way that I personally do this is I actually have my Xperia 1 Mark IV. I'm gonna be using this quite a bit for my location scouting adventures, but what I do is I go into the App Store and I'm looking for an app that is a Sunseeker style of app. Now there is, I believe, an app named Sunseeker, but you don't have to use that specific one. You could use any uh, augmented reality app that will basically tell you where the sun is going to be based on certain times of the day. So what I like to do is if I find a really cool location like I just found right now, I'm going to open up this app and I'm going to see at different times of the day where is the sun going to be. Is the sun going to be, let's say if I'm doing a golden hour shoot, is the sun going to be really low on the horizon where I'm going to be completely in shade? That's going to be a problem, especially if my client or the person that I'm photographing wants to shoot in this specific spot, I need to be aware of that. It could be that maybe earlier in the day, the sun is gonna be in a different position and it's gonna light the spot that they wanna shoot in. So you wanna make sure that you investigate the light. The easiest way to do that is to download an app like this and check and see where the sun is gonna be so that you're getting the best light possible. Let's get right into tip number two, which is that you want to try and create a mood board. Now, if you've never done this before, essentially a mood board is just a series of images that just give yourself and anybody that you're working with, whether it be a client, makeup artist, hairstylist, uh, your assistants, whoever it might be, it will give everyone an idea of the location that you plan on shooting at, gives them an idea of colors and the architecture and just everything around you so that they can color coordinate, they know what to bring with them, uh, whatever the case might be. It's something that is super important. I typically do it using Pinterest. I'll take a bunch of photos. Uh, for example, with my Xperia 1 Mark IV, I could shoot images wide at 16 millimeter. I could shoot some at 24, and then I have that 85 to 125 lens. So I could actually take photographs at various focal lengths of different things that are in the area, just to give people an idea of what they can expect when they go to shoot at that location. So super important when you're location scouting, take photos, create that mood board because no one's gonna be able to experience that location without being there. But the next closest thing to that is taking really good images so that they get an idea of what to expect. All right, so you've investigated the light, you went out and you created a mood board, what's next? The next thing that I would recommend to you is to check on permissions for wherever it is that you plan on shooting. Now, obviously I'm at a park right now. Um, there's some different structures that are here and it's possible that maybe there might be access to these buildings, but it's also possible that I might have to get a permit in order to come in and shoot at these locations. So wherever it is that you choose to shoot, you wanna make sure that you are uh, respectful, that you're courteous of the location. So make sure that you have permission to shoot wherever it is that you find, uh, wherever it is that you plan on shooting. Double check to make sure that you don't need any kind of permits. Um, there are some places that require permits under very specific circumstances. And it could be that maybe if you just go to shoot there with just yourself and your client or yourself and your friend or whoever you plan on shooting, you may not need to get a permit. You might be able to just go there do your photo shoot, make sure you leave everything clean uh, and take off and there's no problem. But there are some spots where you have to get a permit, especially if you plan on bringing an entire crew with you. Uh, I've had photo shoots where I have hairstylists and makeup artists and assistants and clients are there and then they bring a bunch of people and it's just not a good look if you show up on location with like 10, 15, 20 people uh, and you don't have a permit. So make sure that you check 
wherever it is you plan on shooting, have permission to shoot there so that you don't end up wasting your time. So the next time that you go out and you're location scouting and you're trying to figure out where it is that you wanna set up your next shoot, use these three tips and I promise you that you won't be wasting as much of your time, you'll find better locations, you'll choose those locations at the right time of day and everyone around you working with you will have a better idea of what to expect ahead of time. So if you have any questions about the location scouting process, leave them in the comment section below. And while you're here, make sure you like and subscribe to Alpha Universe because we have new videos releasing all the time. Now, if you found this video helpful, I have an entire range of videos here on the channel that are geared towards helping you become a better photographer. So click on the playlist that you see here on the screen and I'll see you there.